Hey everybody, I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elephant, and today I want to give you a quick take on Lawa's new manual focus rectilinear wide angle 14mm f4 dreamer lens, which I had the opportunity to play with recently on Leica's brilliant M10R. Bottom line, with this lens, it's clear to me that Lawa is no fluke. Just like the 9mm f5.6 I tested late last year, this is a tiny, well-constructed, silky smooth optic very much at home on a Leica M. Barely larger than Leica's underrated but much narrower 24mm f3.8, the Elmar. The Loa 14.4 is 2mm wider and at 649 in M mount, 549 in other mounts. Less than one tenth the price of the legendary Leica Tri Elmar 16 18 21. Though, of course, it doesn't offer the Tri Elmar's flexibility. Like Lawa's 9mm 5.6, the 14.4 also sports a hyperfocal detent in the focus ring, a nice touch, this time set at 0.7 meters, which is somewhere between 2 and 2.5 two and feet. At the traditional set it and forget it f8, everything from infinity down to 0.27 meters, just under a foot, will be in focus. And while I cannot compare the two optically, because I've never had the tri Elmar in hand, the Use cases, visual vocabulary, and field of view for a lens this wide, call it 140 degrees, especially on an M designed really for travel street photography and photojournalism rather than architecture, are such that though it does vignette wide open and lacks the kind of fine detail performance I prefer, like that of Panasonic's autofocusing L mount S16 to 35 F4, for example, it is quite crisp for its intended purpose offers little to no distortion beyond what one would expect from this focal length, and transmits color beautifully. Like this, actually, even if on close inspection, this is an instance where the M10R's 40 megapixel sensor does show the limits of the glass. Find something true that I like I won't stress you, dear I know that you made up your mind That's it, really. Oh, other than to say, I would have liked very much to show you the kind of dramatic skies one can get with a lens this wide, but funny how that works. Smoke from wildfires 3,000 miles away in California, Oregon, and Washington. You know, the kind that happened because of global climate change, not poor forest management by the states on lands actually and overwhelmingly owned by the federal government, turned the relatively clear skies here in Pennsylvania into a hazy, hapless mess. Just saying. If you like what you've seen here today, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, join the conversation below. Support our work using our no-cost-to-you affiliate links, buying Streets of New York the book, shopping our merchandise store, dropping us coffee money via PayPal, or most especially, consider becoming a patron of ours via Patreon. Links for all down below. However you support us, as always, we thank you for it.